This review is of New Egg. <clears throat> Back in September, I started researching um, buying parts to build computers for my son and I. We both had laptops that were over 10 years old, and they were just too far behind the times. I mean, just to put it this way, um, browsing. I didn't realize how much my computer and his computer, I didn't, know, I re didn't realize how much they were slowing down the browsing experience in pretty much every respect. I just thought, oh, okay, that's the way it is for the service we've got and the equipment we've got. Well, that was partially true. Once I got the new computers put together, oh my gosh, the browsing experience is so much faster in every way. And using the computer is so much faster in every way. It doesn't take several minutes to start up the computer or load up a game or download something, you know, that takes many gigabytes of space. It's fast now. It's wonderful. Well, when I was in the process of researching this, I was I solicited the help of a friend of mine who's been in IT for a long time. He's more in the corporate IT world and he also likes to build high-end computers. Uh, and he likes to play with overclocking and stuff like that. So some of his advice was not really appropriate for us, but I appreciated his help. And he did point out that there's this fantastic deal on Newegg for some Corsair uh, IQ5000X RGB mid-tower PC cases. And it was like 50, 60% off. He said, you know, it was, so it was a really good deal, very competitive, and he seemed to feel it was a very solid deal um, as far as the quality of the computer, uh, the part, um, the case is, is concerned. And so I went on to Newegg because that's where the deal was, and I tried to place an order. Well, two things happened. First of all, I forgot to press quantity two. And second of all, um, it, it has the option to enter more than one um, card on the website. Um, or, it, or it seemed to. It seemed to. So I, I had, um, and my son had, a bunch of gift cards that we were issued because of a research study that we're part of. And so I put in all of these ones, and it didn't cover the full cost, so I added in my regular card and I thought okay so it's going to take all these cards and then finally it's going to get to my card and it's going to take the balance out of my card well it didn't work out that way instead the order was halted because it only saw one of the cards that had a small amount of money on it it didn't look at all the other cards that I had entered and at that point, I realized, oh, okay, so um, entering all those cards in doesn't work. You can only use one card on Newegg, which is very disappointing um, because that means that you have to settle with either using one card or buying gift cards on Newegg, just like Amazon and other uh, many other vendors. And so... I contacted Newegg by chat, and I have the chat log, and I talked to a lady named Sophia who's on the other side of the world, although she claimed to be in California, um, but judging by when I called versus the time that it shows for her, other side of the world. Um, and also there were some problems with the English of the people I was communicating with in chat uh, versus the people on the phone. So I'm most... I'm fairly certain that I was talking to people that were located in uh, the Philippines on chat. Anyways, so I explained to Sophia what had happened and she said, well, in order to place the order, you will need to um, buy, take your gift cards that you were given by the study and buy new egg gift cards. And then you can apply that gift, new egg gift card total to your order to pay for it. I was like, oh, okay, great, fantastic. So, sorry, it's a little bit shady in here. Let me bring the sun on. 
Hey, there I am. I'll just take these off so I don't look like I'm bug-eyed. So I went in there and I placed an order for a gift card. $10. Went through. Then I placed the other orders. And none of them were big. 10 20 40 bucks. And two other orders, two, the second and third order, were canceled pretty quickly, uh, claiming that there were insufficient funds. But I had, before placing the order, I had verified the balance of every card. So that was impossible. And these were gift cards, not debit cards or credit cards. So there was, and I had been told by the uh, people running the study that I could use these cards everywhere. And so the fourth um, card order or gift card purchase um, never went through. It just sat there processing, processing. So I got in, into chat again with a different person. And I said, this is what's happening. I need your help. Can you help me? And also I need to increase the quantity of the order to two. Uh, and I have to get this done today because number one, it's past my bedtime. And number two, the uh, deal ends today. And so the guy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can help you. No problem. I'm more than happy to help you um, in, in chat. And so he told me to redo the gift card orders. And that didn't work. Um, they got rejected again. Or they were, and then eventually they were all stuck in processing. He said, look, you have to wait. It's going to take one to two days. I said, these are gift cards. Why should they take one to two days? He said, all, all purchases take one to two days. And that wasn't my experience in the past with New Egg. Um, and it didn't make any sense since I was paying out of a fixed fund that would not be refilled um, using Visa and MasterCards. So, um, but there's nothing he could do. He said, I'll put a note on your account letting them know to um, apply the discount because you weren't able to get it today. And um, you should it should happen soon tomorrow wait probably and um so i was like all right well i guess i don't have any choice um i tried some more and um i believe i also made a phone call that night um because this is nighttime and uh talked to a lady online on the phone and she had said oh well um I suggest if you're not having success in placing these gift card orders that you um, make a new account and place the order again. And I did try that and uh, eventually, um, but not right away because the guy had said, you know, wait till tomorrow. So tomorrow, the next morning, uh, the 16th of September, I got up and I checked my order and everything was still stuck, you know, the, except for the one order that, that they had accepted, the first order. Um, the other three cards were still in process. So I left them alone and every once in a while I checked. And then later in the day, I went to check and my account was banned. I was blocked. No explanation uh, as to why I was banned. That, you know, not an explanation that made any sense because um, I hadn't done anything wrong. And the explanation that they gave uh, the, it was very brief and it didn't make any sense to me because I hadn't done what they, you know, they had said. Um, and, you know, I called up to New Egg and I said, uh, hey, uh, what the heck's going on here? And the lady I spoke to said, oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. Your account's been banned. Um, sorry. So sorry. Um, and that was the gist of the conversation. She couldn't do anything. Um, I, so I said to her, uh, look, I need you to escalate this. I'm just trying to, I've got gift cards from a study. I'm trying to place an order um, that I was trying to get that discount on those uh, cases. And this is not my fault. I mean, your fraud control team has done something wrong um, and assumed maybe that I, I have committed fraud when I have not committed fraud. And um, she said, okay, um, I'll, look, I'll escalate it as you requested. And you should hear from them in 24 to 48 hours. So uh, then later on, after the call, I remembered what the previous day the lady had said on the phone about making a new account and trying again. So since my 
current my first my main account that I had been using with New Egg for a couple three years uh, was was turned off, and the woman that I spoke to on the 16th claimed there was no way to restore my account, which I knew was BS. Um, they always say that kind of crap. Oh, we can't restore it once it's gone. It's gone. Well, that's not. That's not the way it works in the in business in digital world. Unless they're running things illegally, there's always a way to get an account back. Um, doesn't matter whether it's Facebook or YouTube or anybody, they can get the account back if if there's a good enough reason. So, anyways, so I made a new account under my secondary email address, and I started to place the gift card orders because it didn't matter which account the gift cards were used on. It just mattered that I had them to compile together and add up to the amount I needed to pay for the order. I talked to customer service again and um, es escalated it a second time and made a second account. Uh, that got, well, you know, like I said, and that account was also blocked uh, or deleted or whatever you want to call it. And um, so that's why I made the second escalation. And again, they said, oh, a couple of days, one to two days, they'll give you a response. Now, by the 17th, and remember where this started on the 15th, and I made my first ex escalation on the 15th. By the 17th, or on the, um, I think it was the 15th that I made the escalation. Yeah. By the 17th, there have been no response from fraud control um, or any other department for that matter. I have been sent copies of the chat logs, but that's automatic. <clears throat> and so I was really, really stressed and frustrated right um, at that point <clears throat> because, you know, I was being told stupid things and I was being told I would be getting responses and I wasn't giving, getting any responses. And it just went on and on. And um, so it didn't get resolved. Um, and I made a third account on Saturday, the 17th. And that account also got blocked. And so I was like really frustrated by that point. I made, um, I couldn't do anything on Sunday. So I think it was on Monday. I called them up and I said, look, I escalated this. And I was supposed to get a contact back, and nobody has contacted back. It may not have been Monday. It may have been Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't really remember um, exactly what day it was. But um, they have not contacted me back. I, um, and uh, so I escalated it a step higher the next day, and nobody has contacted me back. So now I want to talk to the manager. And the person got off and put me on hold and said, oh, hold on, and uh, came back and said, that person is not in today. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, I said, okay, well, I need to talk to this person and I'm not going to stop calling until I get to communicate with this person. And the person, so the person on the phone gave me the manager's email address. And her name was Shirley. I won't give you the full name, uh, but his first name is Shirley. And I wrote to her explaining the situation and... And again, she's the Shirley is the uh, customer service manager. And I um, explained in, in full detail um, about all the calls I'd made, the chats I'd had, um, the problems with the cards, the problems with ordering the gift cards, uh, the problem with the missing case, and that I, I was being robbed of my discount uh, on the cases because of new egg not help letting my orders go through and i insisted on getting some help now I didn't just insist on getting this problem resolved i said look you know i've been using new egg for a while granted not very often because the other times i had ordered through new egg i had ordered through chinese providers and it went kind of awry both times and um at least for at least a couple of the items that i ordered and so I had kind of not had that experience with uh, like Amazon stuff. And so I was sticking, I was staying away from New Egg for, um, but I said, look, you know, I'm a YouTuber and uh, I have no problems whatsoever in making this a public issue if I don't get help on this matter. Um, and 
So she eventually wrote back and said she was working on it. Let's see, that would have been the 20th. So I emailed her on the 17th. That was the, yeah, so that would have been the day that um, I called in for my third, es I think it was the third escalation. And I went, I, or no, second escalation, escalation. So I called in and did the second escalation on the 17th and was told that the manager wasn't available because I start by escalating to the supervisor, then I escalate to the manager, then I escalate to the whoever's above that, which is usually going to be a director. And so on this, you know, I didn't get a response on the 17th or the 18th or the 19th. So, you know, I called in and I made a third escalation to the director. And then Shirley eventually wrote back to me and said, that she was working on it, that they will they'll give me a $50 credit back on the case order, um, and that so, there's a request to have a supervisor or manager to call you back after yours are released. And, um, and they gave the feedback to upper management, and the, she apologized that I didn't get any follow-up emails from the people that were supposed to have followed up with me. <clears throat> uh, but he also pointed out, and by this this time it was a little bit late because she pointed out that my accounts had been, re, been reopened for all three. Because I ended up making three accounts. One was my primary account that got blocked, then my secondary account that got blocked, and then my tertiary email account that got blocked as well. And so by this time, I had already um, I was very very frustrated and didn't. I was not happy. And I had started to receive the messages saying that, oh yes, um, your accounts have been un unblocked. You know, your account is unblocked, your account is unblocked. And I received a call from a gentleman working there. I, th I think he was uh, Shirley's boss. And uh, he was apologetic and polite. And he, listened, he asked me what was going on. And he listened to my story. He was a little bit impatient, but you know, I've been in that position. And after a while you get kind of impatient. <clears throat> If the person is going into a lot of detail and you feel like, well, you know, I want to help this person. And the longer they talk, I get the, you know, the, you know, that just delays me helping. And I kind of got that impression with him. Um, so I can't really blame him. And, but I was, I was frustrated and he interrupted me a few times when he shouldn't have interrupted. And that also just exacerbated my frustration. But uh, he said, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get you the cases you want. And we're going to send them out and uh, we will give you uh, a credit back on your order and uh, $50 and um, we're going to pay for the shipping. And uh, because one of the, one of the customer service reps said, said, Oh, we'll, we'll give $15 off uh, of your shipping for all the hassle you've gone through. And uh, is there anything else I can do to make this right with you? And I said, well, um, you know, um, while we're at it, if you can just change it to this other case, that same case, just different color. Um, I, I think I'd prefer that one. And I also kind of felt like, you know, if I, if I up the value of the order slightly, that's going to make him feel better because it's offsetting the fifty dollars that they're, you know, or sixty-five dollars to put the shipping that they're going to lose because of all the hassle. But at the same time, I also felt like, you know. For all the stress and hassle I went through because of the incompetence of the fraud control team, he should have offered me more. He should have done more for me. Um, but, you know, I'm not a greedy person. So I just you know, went with it. Now, I do have to mention that because I had lost out on the, um, the discount, I had gone with another brand, Fantex, instead of Corsair. Uh, which also had a very good case that had been recommended to me. And I, I had ordered that because I had been told, well, you're, you're out of luck. And um, so he canceled that order, which had already left the warehouse. And it was a little bit weird because, you know, he said, well, they're just going to, I'm just going to have them return it directly to me. So several days later, I get this message from UPS saying, your order is at the store because I had designated that the order would be delivered to the UPS store instead of to my door so I didn't get, have it get stolen. Well, the, the cases I actually ended up getting did get delivered to my door, but fortunately my neighbor grabbed them and pulled them into his apartment to keep them safe. And um, 
So I got this message. I go to the UPS store. And I think there, I said, I think there's been a mistake. There, it's saying that there are some cases here for me that should have been returned back to Newegg. And um, he didn't have anything. And then he, um, I had also gotten an email that, from Newegg that, and after that, and that said that, oh, we're processing your return merchandise authorization. I was like, I guess that must be about the cases that they were supposed to be sent back. And we'll refund your money after that and blah, blah, blah. So it all ended up okay. The Fantex cases got returned. I got my money back. I got the $50 off of the order and, and no shipping cost and, and so on and so forth. And you know, I, I, I still felt like hesitant. Um, Newegg is sometimes cheaper than Amazon, um, often not as cheap as Amazon, um, but the shopping experience on the website is easier, um, at least in, in my experience with buying computer parts. I found it easier to navigate the choices. Uh, Amazon is just a mess and I've complained to them as a customer, I've complained to them as an employee, and I don't know if it's ever going to change. Um, but I then, after this was all resolved, I placed an order for some other parts with Newegg, and um, that included the motherboard and processor, CPU or processor for both of us. And when it arrived, both of my parts had been. The, the boxes the boxes seem to have been tampered with so um, the um, sticker the seal on the Intel box uh, for my processor was not at all touching the box it was I mean one half was touching the box so that it was sticking out like this and the other half which should have been folded over and on and on this surface over here was just like that and but I couldn't see anything wrong with it and then the um, motherboard my motherboard the it looked like somebody had taken a, a knife and cut the seal and there was damage to the, uh, the box and there were, and then the seal was fully cut um, I couldn't see anything wrong with it I couldn't see nothing was missing and um, but I contacted Newegg by uh, email, or not email, uh, chat. And I told them about this, and the lady asked me questions, and I sent photographs in. And um, it, ultimately what happened was is she was like, well, do you want to return them and get them replaced, or what do you want to do? And I said, well, I don't know. What do you suggest? And she said, well, do they look to be okay? So I carefully inspected them with my eyes and my nose, because if they're, like, burned, you can smell that. Um so, and I didn't detect any indications that there was anything wrong with the motherboard or the processor. So I said, you know, they look okay to me. So what do you think? She said, well, if you want, you can keep them. And if you find anything within the next 30 days, then just contact us back and we'll replace them for you, no charge. And for your trouble, I'm going to give you $50 off your order. <clears throat> so that was, um, on the one hand, why did I get products where the seals had been tampered with? I don't know. Um, on the other hand, yeah, at least they handle, <laughs> they, they know to treat me better than they did the first, the last time around. So pros and cons. Um, do I recommend Newegg? Um, well, I've been hearing from people that of late Newegg's quality is as far as like their service has gone down. And uh, so, but I've also heard good things. And I guess ultimately, um, this can happen with any company. I mean, I've had worse experiences with like Columbia and uh, Greyhound, uh, and I won't even use them as um, for anything anymore uh, because of the experiences I had. And I came very close to putting New Egg on my blacklist too. Uh, but I would say that whether it's New Egg or any other company, um, you need to be persistent, polite, patient to an extent, one to two days patient, and you should always escalate. If the first person hasn't been able to help you, you should escalate to the next level up. Now, uh, who you're dealing with will determine who you'll get next. So if you're talking to technical support, you'll probably get have to escalate to tier two and then to tier three, and then to somebody above that, which could be an engineer, it could be a manager. If you're talking to customer service, 
It's usually going to go to a team leader and then maybe a supervisor, then maybe a manager. Above all those would be the director of customer service and above them would be probably um, a VP. And then maybe a, a chief operating officer for um, or something like that or chief information technology officer or chief technology officer, something like that, the, the, uh, the C-suite. Um, and just keep on escalating until you get satisfaction. And if you get to the point where they're, they're like, well, <coughs> I'm sorry, there's nobody else you can talk to. This is uh, number one, either they are an outsourced company that has been hired to represent the vendor you're dealing with. And so they don't have somebody else at a higher level um, that you can talk to and, and or they're just lying. Either way, if you get to the point where there's, they're saying like, well, there's nobody else to talk to, then what you do is you call the headquarters of that company and say, look, I've gone as high as I can within your customer service team and they're telling me there's nobody else to talk to and I know your company's bigger than that, so I need to talk to the next person above them. And that's what I had to do with Columbia. In the case of uh, Greyhound, I actually had to uh, refuse payment on the, um, the problem order because they refused to help me. Um, so yeah, and, and don't be afraid to go on Better Business Bureau. I recently had, I, I've got another company on my blacklist. It's a Day Heights Auto um, and they're on my blacklist because they ripped me off. And even though at the end, the owner made it right, um, what happened was unacceptable and should never have happened. And it took me putting um, reviews on nextdoor.com and B the Better Business Bureau for him to actually come back to me and say, Gosh, how can I make this right? Um, so, uh, as far as the website's concerned, I think the website's great. Uh, I'd give it a four uh, stars out of five. As far as the customer service support that I've received, uh, because of all the problems with the fraud control team and their incompetence and uh, their failure to uh, follow up with me to try and... They never even tried, ever by phone or email or anything to uh, try to verify or try to find out what was going on. Now, I did also use another company called b and Photo and Video, and, uh, they, and I had to do the gift card thing with them too. And they contacted me to make sure what was what's going on with these cards. And I was like, well, this is what the, the, the deal is. So, and they were like, oh, okay, fine. Um, so I guess I would give a three for their service. It never should have gotten as bad as it did. It never should have caused me as much stress as it did. They never should have had to pay me, um, give me money back. And, um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.